I'm HP and today's topic is ACDC style. I woke up this morning and just had a feeling for really straight ahead rock, hard rock. And so here we go. First I'm going to play it for you, more or less what I'm going to talk about and then give further explanations. And just to give you the information now, the backing track will be added at the end of this video. So let's go. <laughs> Damn this shit. <laughs> Good, um, let's go for it. And for those who think it's too fast, I can play this. Um, I just play now. I give you some very easy tricks how you really can manage this track. Really, of course, the rhythm guitar and uh, some easy licks which really work great here. And that's enough to really get in this raid straight and nail this sucker down. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, straight at hard rock. So let's check it out. So let's first check out the rhythm guitar. It's pretty easy, as usual with ACDC. Um, the chords A or D or G, sometimes E, and that's it. So in this case, we have A, and we are playing the A5 chord, the G5, here is in the third, third here with a um, ring finger on the A uh, B string and the very usual D5 chord here, third, second. So these are the three chords which are coming. And now the picking hand is a little bit tricky. That's the rhythm guitar. Now let's check it out. Um, the rhythm is a little bit tricky because it starts and when we count on four plus, so one, two, three, four, and then we start with the open the string and then hammer on one, two, three, four. See, and then this hammer on comes on this A5 hammered in comes on the one, so one, two, three, four, and then you damp, comes the open A string, and then the upper part of the chord, this is the way how it should look. So one, two, three, four, That's the basic trick behind it. And just let it get, really get it steady going. See, works pretty fine. Then comes the G5, as showed here. Third, third. Straight ahead through D5. And the D5, I really, this is my most favorite rock chord because when you really attack those four middle strings, very dynamic, you need to damp a little bit here with the thumb of your grabbing hand. This gives it a real, and especially when you play a Les Paul, this is, a, this is the chord which was created for the Les Paul. Les Paul sounds best with this chord with distortion. See. If your guitar is tuned, of course. <laughs> if it's not tuned, it's not perfect today. 
Dr. Pink is a little bit moody today because uh, <laughs> we uh, <laughs> I played yesterday till four o'clock a.m. Uh, so it's a little bit early. <laughs> so and now the trick is um, that's very typical for ACC is and anti anticipated on four plus one, two, three, four, and four. That's the trick. So this comes in four plus, and this comes on two plus. And what you make with the downstroke? Um, if you're into alternate picking, you think, oh, this should be an upstroke, but it's a downstroke. It's very typical. So one, two, three, four. <laughs> In between, you damp with your picking hand. So, and that's it. And then, once you have it, just let it go. One, two, three. And That really works great. Now, for the, the lead guitarist among you, <coughs> we have some really cool shit going on here, which really works fine. We are in A minor, so we will be using A minor pentatonics in root position, as usual. That would be this one here. Good. Now, um, let's check it out. What shall we do? Um, what really works very cool is this lick here. It's also a typical one by Angus Young, so more or less he has some variations on that, of course, but he works a lot of with this double stop here. He has a more dry sound than I have here now. He has a very totally dry sound, mostly, and he plays this Gibson SG guitar, which I personally don't like. It's a very aggressive sound, but um, I mean, if you want to have the original sound, skip all delay and reverb effects, um, which I have here. I'd really like it this way, so I want to keep it. And you, I think you needed this Gibson SG, but still you can play this kind of style, which is very cool. And this one works very well. Is here we have bending, as we are in the tonics here. We have the bending here. Kind of a repeating pattern in eights. And um, if, if you're into alternate picking, that one is a little bit tricky because it will be downstroke, upstroke, downstroke, and then start again since this is a three note pattern. It would start with an upstroke again the next time you play it, but we don't want this. So the really cool thing you do is do upstroke, downstroke, and downstroke. If you learn this technique, um, if it would come faster, you also can play this one much faster. Otherwise, you will really get dropped out. So, this is how it sounds. works really cool. Now um, playing this little lick is too simple because then it st starts to sound bored because you're playing all the time. Now if you want to make it sound more interesting you can re keep, keep the re repetition of it but, oh, but, but, where's the but? <laughs> yeah, where is it? Uh, <laughs> I'm sitting on it. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, Again, you make this typical anticipation you, when you find one and two and three and four. And then you start on the four plus, you make anticipated a half beat, and this gives us this gives us special accents. So one, two, three, four. See it's a little bit um, pulled backwards, so laid back. 
We need to stop here a little bit and then make the anticipation. And that's really the cool part of it. Then you can keep it going all the time. But at a certain time you need to resolve it somewhere, because when you do a repeating thing, you cannot repeat your stuff all the time. You need to somehow come to the point. Like in real life, if you keep on repeating the same stuff again at a certain time, you need to come to the point, and we're doing this here. So we go down here on the root note, either like this, so we resolve it down, or we make make this little lick here in between, a very cool one here. double stop lick and you <laughs> normally you make bendings the, other, the opposite but this time you have to do it the, the opposite bending resolve it again a three note pattern which with the accent moves see it starts on beat second time in coming in off beat one and two and three four one and two that's a really cool thing so, if you work with these three parts of it, uh, we are already pretty cool and nailing this stuff down. One, two, three. Now, if you really want to get this into the red aggressive emotion, then start sitting on this snow and really attacking it hard with pinch of money. Whatever you want to make it sound aggressive, um, that's you don't need to play. I don't know really wild things or special things. You can stay keep it simple, but you can play it aggressive. See, I'm working with pinch on money. That works very great here. See, that stuff is so simple to play, for most of you, I guess. Should be simple to play, otherwise you cannot play it. <laughs> yeah, that's if you have no clue how to play this stuff. You can get my beginner's guide there. I have some information for those who cannot play this at the moment. Good, now we want to have something more fast. Because when we want to do that hard heading, nailing, a uh, hard rock thing, we want to have to something fast. And um, playing fast is not so hard as you might think. We keep it simple and again, as it is in, um, I mean, I really adore Angus Young um, as a guitar player and I'm a huge fan of ACDC, but to be honest, his licks, which he's playing, are nothing special. It's typical rock or the hard rock, hard rock licks, basically position one. And uh, what he works a lot with uh, hammer and pull off or stuff like this. The typical stuff here, I mean, I didn't analyze it in detail because it doesn't make sense to really play exactly like somebody just to get some impression and some inspiration. That's enough. Same as you follow my stuff, don't play it exactly the way I'm explaining it. I mean, <laughs> you can, but um, the point is find your own ways how to play that stuff. So now we come to the fast part. <laughs> Just pull off flick here, very simple. Index here in the fifth, pinky eight here, and then <laughs> you just attack the first and pull off, and then you play 16 notes. That's very important. Dagger, 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 down. And the same thing again, if you repeat something in one absurd point, you need to come to the point. <laughs> uh, 
Then you can go down one. Now it's a little bit more tricky. Eight. It's eight, five, seven, five. Normally I resolve a, a figure like that, like this. So this is a 16 on. And now I'll go. I do it like this. So you have this double hammer on pull. Oops. See, I, I came to the point. Wow, mostly I, I just keep on talking and don't come to the point. So I have a good day. <laughs> so, they see how it works with the track. Two, three, four. You can keep it on that and then resolve it. In. See, it works re really great. And if you think it's too, oh wow, it's too fast for me, it's not. Um, I think everybody can move the finger without guitar at this speed. This is the speed you need. If you cannot do this, then it's too fast for you. If you can do this without guitar, it's just a matter of practice, <laughs> as usual. Um, so, um, the, the point is when you, when you don't have the speed till now, um, build it up slowly. Really work on those 16 on has to be very precise, then it's cool if you're not precise. It's like a car which does, I don't know. <laughs> you only have three wheels, you cannot really drive fast. So everything has to be precisely and on track. Now I'm putting all those things together, I explain now. We come to this point, which comes here now. And then you have a full solo, and then you just mix it up with this aggressive um, pinch harmonics, so whatever you do. You make variation of those licks, and that's it. And then you sound more or less like that. One, two, three, four. Good folks, I hope you got the message here. It's easy to rock, it's just a matter of intention and in intensity because um, what I showed, I mean, the stuff is not really new, but you see this color down, it's red. So try to really get intense, kind of a certain aggressive aggressivity really works well here, but also be very tight on the point. This is very special on the these licks where uh, the riffs are very easy uh, like on acdc style but they are like nailing hard on the point <laughs> maybe a head banging works <laughs> mm. and also make these theatralic moves i really love them they're not only theatralic because um, they really, if you make like 
then you really get the right grip so yeah yo man it's like nail this suck <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> <laughs> See, stuff really works. Be tight on this thing and also in the soloing. Uh, you can mix the whole thing up with the rhythm guitar and soloing as um, Angus would do that, probably. So, enjoy this one and we see us some other time. Yo!